Lightweight e-curbs of any size and shape can also be used for sealing penetrations on vertical walls. The most common size of e-curb used on vertical walls are 3 and 4 inch diameter curbs. If there are any loose coatings, paint, or other surface contaminants on the wall or penetration, they should be removed with a wire brush and the surface is cleaned. The proper size e-curb is determined by choosing the curb that has 1 inch of clearance between the inner wall of the e-curb and the outside edge of the penetration. Position the e-curb over the penetration and outline the base perimeter with a marker if necessary to help align the components when they are ready to be bonded to the surface. Seal around the base of the penetration with Duralink sealant and apply a thin layer of Duralink to the penetration to act as a primer and primary seal on the wall penetration. Take the first section and apply a quarter inch bead of Duralink around the entire bottom perimeter and an additional bead down the center of the component section. Press the e-curb section firmly in place, flattening the beads of Duralink. Follow the same procedure for the remaining section or sections. It is important to make sure the snap fit joints are pressed flat. The wet section of the Duralink will hold the components in place. Apply a bead of Duralink around the entire outside base perimeter and neatly tool the bead smooth. If there are a few wall penetrations that are going to be sealed with the e-curbs, it is best to assemble and bond all the e-curbs and allow them to set for one hour to allow the Duralink to gain strength before filling the curb with additional Duralink. It is not as imperative to wait an hour before filling one small 3-inch e-curb if it is filled carefully, not disturbing the e-curb frame. Gun the Duralink sealant into the curb and periodically tool the sealant packing it tightly, removing any air gaps. Duralink will not sag after tooling and provides an instantaneous watertight seal that will skin over in approximately 30 minutes depending on the temperature and humidity. The entire 2 inch depth of the Duralink will cure into a flexible solid rubber block in a few weeks.